Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I know the kitchen probably looks a mess and stuff. I need to do like a reset when I get home, but we're actually all about to head out. Um, I need to reset because I, we have family coming over. I had friends over last night from church. Cause you just <laughs> <laughs> I already been like And we did like a little paint and sip. And this is my little painting that I painted. It's so cute and it matches like my office, like the pink stuff. So I'm gonna put it in there. Uh, it was really a lot of fun. Like they was here till midnight. Like they was not trying to go home, honey. But it was a lot of fun. And we just sat around, we just, you know, ate snacks and chit chat and all that stuff. So right now, I'm really hungry. We're gonna eat lunch out as a family. Everybody already had breakfast and stuff. So I'm gonna make me a, a pumpkin chai. So I wanted to like, you know, make that with y'all so y'all could see it. I don't want the, I don't want everything to look a mess. Definitely gonna have to load the dishwasher. But yeah, let me clear this. Or maybe I could go over to the actual coffee bar. So let's go over here. Okay, so this is what I have. So I have the Oatly Oat Milk. I also have the Tazo Classic Chai Latte. And then I think I want to try to make the foam using the Caramel Macchiato um, Creamer. Like, I don't know, because I want to do, no, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I want to do it like the Starbucks drinks. So I'm going to do the pumpkin munchkin, and I'm going to um, put the pumpkin butter in there from William Sonoma, the caramel pumpkin butter, and we're going to froth it. And then I also have like these cute little cups from Dollar Tree, and then I bought some more with like green in it. Can y'all see them? Yeah, aren't they cute? So I'm gonna use this one, this is the last one at this pack. Okay, so we're gonna do the pumpkin munchkin creamer and then a little bit of The pumpkin butter, like like a tablespoon, a teaspoon, I guess. And we're gonna microwave it because that's how you get the frothiest milk. Okay, I've also already put ice in here because it's gonna be an iced drink. And we're gonna do. Can y'all see? I'm gonna do like. Am I supposed to shake this? I'm making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Hold on. This is so chaotic. Like, what a way to start the vlog. Okay, I'm gonna shake it. And now I'm gonna pour it. I'm gonna do it like to here, enough to like cover the ice, I guess. And then we're gonna do some oat milk. This was BOGO at Publix, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. I'm gonna do the oat milk and then leave room for the creamer. I just heated that for 30 seconds. I probably should have left my room because this is a lot of. that on top like so maybe not beautiful okay and then let's do like a little cinnamon let's do a touch of cinnamon for the vibes so my barista am i a barista you guys cheers now for the taste test
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Let me tear it with the phone. I think it's good. And it saved me. It's going to save me a lot of money because I love the pumpkin chives. Like, that's my favorite fall drink. It's the pumpkin chives at Starbucks. And I haven't been. And I'm craving them. And, and now I can have unlimited ones until I run out of that. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Really good. I want, I said they have like gold and stuff. I want something like that. Or like that. That's probably kitchen, huh? No, -uh, those are showers, babe. You're not going to trick me. Your mom's broken. So she needs to get one of these. I did not break it. No, it's I, just I old. Your mom's is broken, so she just needs to get one of these. I, mean. I don't want that when I can have something fresh. And guess what? We're now in Walmart, y'all, and look at these cute little, like, basically you can put that where the coffee is, and then they have this picture for $9.98. How cute is that? And the buckets, so super cute. I love the black cutting board for $12.86. I kind of want that. I came to look at the regular wood ones but these are like charcuterie boards and i want like a real cutting board uh-oh are you okay are you okay mama and then these are pretty on the gray i want the matching mug Oh my gosh, tell me how cute this is for a dollar ninety seven. Like I just love a kitchen towel. But it's almost time for Christmas. <laughs> so you don't need that, mommy. So mommy, you don't need anything. <gasps> they have the matching mats to it. Y'all. This is so cute. I want this. They're $9.46. These are the ones we currently have. The like haze. I don't need anything. I'm leaving. Leaving. I do need a cutting board, but I don't see anything. So I'm going to just go. See, I'm working on my self control. Going to find my husband and get the birthday gift we came for and be done. I have a tuna nigiri. Crawfish. And Girl Scott Chinese. I'm really, 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 I'm
We got some wasp hornet spray because like there's a, a nest in our mailbox. And so me and Alex are gonna go out there and try to battle that. I got the large pack. This one is the 21 pack. Cascade Platinum. I'm just a platinum girl now. I'm just I like the platinum. It's just my my dishes are so clean and shiny after. But I do want to try like the the quick dry stuff. So apparently I've that's the one thing I've been missing is like the little drying thing. So I do want to get like some dry rinse or whatever you're supposed to pour in there. And then I got a new scrub mommy. Because I needed one of these. And then for now, I let Alex <laughs> win and get me just a replacement top. But we were looking at all the faucets and the sinks, like, and I was like, I want to change this out. And then my dad, well, my dad-in-law, he does floors. And I was like, I really want him to redo the tile in the bathrooms for us. So, <sighs> home improvements, you know? But I do want to redo, like, all the faucets. Like, I want to do the bathroom faucets first. I want to do our floor, our tiles in the bathrooms first. And then kitchen stuff which we already have some kitchen stuff to like redo like the backsplash and all that but i picked out like a new sink and like i don't know i just want you know this is this is the home so i want to do some things but yeah that's all we got from lowe's we're about to go to a pumpkin patch in like an hour hour and a half ish because it is our niece's birthday um and they're gonna come over here and sing happy birthday so um yeah that's what we've been doing and i feel like that's something i like that's been on my heart lately like to use our home for like family hosting entertainment like it was really nice having the ladies from church over it's really nice when our family's able to um you know use our house and stuff because a lot of we have like pretty much the nicest house um in these groups so we really want to use it to glorify god and use it to help the just host people and just show love to people and show kindness and hominess and just hospitality so it's a hospitality type of weekend um so yeah i'll see you guys at the pumpkin patch okay. you see the pretty pumpkins pumpkin yeah, big pumpkin. Do you want to go see some white pumpkin? <laughs> she has to be right here. Um, what are you doing? Good morning. Happy Sunday. This is how I look. Maxi dress and a cardigan. My makeup looks like this. Very simple. Um, I'm fighting for my life right now. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, it is day one of my Aunt Flo being in town. It is, I made my shake, my protein shake with oat milk instead of almond milk. And it is too thick. The nine-year-olds forgot how to, how to dress themselves and where their shoes are. <sighs> I'm going through it. All right, you guys, we are home from church. I want to show y'all what I got from Dollar Tree real quick. So I saw these brownies and I thought these would be good for dessert. I am making a meal for my best friend tonight because she did have her baby. So I'm making like double, for, like double everything. Like I'm making two, a meal for my family and a meal for her family. So. I had to get some stuff to take over there. So I'm gonna use these little containers um, for like salad and bread. And then I also bought like a pan with a lid on it for the Alfredo bake. I'm gonna make uh, chicken broccoli Alfredo bake. And I got this one for the brownie. And then I also just bought some plates for them to eat off of. And some drinks. I got like these three Wilches juices for them. And then that is pretty much it. I also got these thank you cards because I want to thank the girls as teachers um, for helping us out with some stuff. And then 
I was feeling uninspired by all the cleaning products that I've been seeing. So I didn't buy anything, but I just saw this stuff at Dollar Tree and got it. This is the bathroom cleaner. We just needed some for the bathroom. But I saw these and they look really nice for Dollar Tree. So I look at this black packaging. How cute is that? And this is peppermint sage dish soap. Dish soap. And then this is the daily cleanser, like the little spray bottle. And then they had the wipes and like they're in this cute, sleek black packaging. And I thought it was just really cute. So I got that and that was it for Dollar Tree. And that's pretty much it for the vlog. So I'm just gonna do like chicken rigatoni um, with crunchy onions on top and bread, uh, breadcrumbs, mozzarella cheese, broccoli chicken alfredo and then i'm gonna do the salads <coughs> the garlic toast <laughs> and then that's what i'll take over there to her um all right so this is the salad this is how the alfredo bake turned out and then the brownies for her so i'm about to pack all of this up i do need to go back by dollar tree because i forgot to get her a salad dressing and then i need to get the toast out and then this is ours for tonight and tomorrow. And then I made us a pan of brownies as well. And then I also saved some chicken. I saved some chicken to make like a small thing of chicken salad. So Alex can make sandwiches or something for days that he wants to eat something or me, whatever. Just I just make extra stuff for us to have. All right, y'all. Hey, I'm actually on my way to see my best friend right now to drop off the dinner. But I just wanted to pop in and like talk to y'all for a little bit because I just remembered that I didn't even like tell y'all the sermon notes. But like, it was kind of just like my pastor testifying like why he feels the need to like travel and be a missionary and like basically the call of God on his life. So he was basically reinforcing, I think what Pastor Mike um, went over which was, you know, we all have a call of God on our life. And, you know, he was just trying to testify on his own um, testimony. So, yeah, and, like, I wanted to share, like, my spiritual gift is hospitality. And, like, ever since, well, for a while, I've been just, you know, praying, asking God, like, pretty much, like, what's next? Like, what do you want me to do? Um, you know, how do you want to use me, basically? And, like, I was telling y'all, like, I've been feeling like, he's been wanting me to host and just it's generosity like he keeps speaking generosity to my spirit and to me I, at first I was like generosity like I'm not rich like I don't I don't have any like I don't have a lot of wealth or whatever but he's been telling me like you have um you have an overwhelming amount of hospitality of generosity like you can show my generosity by being generous and basically you know using those spiritual gifts which my strongest spiritual gift is hospitality i enjoy making meals for people and going to see people and going to pray for people like i'm going to set eyes on my best friend and pray for her and her baby and get them a nice and nourishing fulfilling meal and you know hopefully they can see god in the gesture i don't have a lot of money where i could just bless people with money but i can cook you a meal i can come over i can support you you know and i was talking to somebody about that and i'm not even gonna say who but they were just kind of like did anybody do that for you and i'm like no but they don't have to like i'm not looking for reciprocity like i don't like god reciprocates you know if i'm doing what he's telling me to do then he reciprocates for me you know and that's all that I need. So, you know, I'm just trying to be obedient and actually lean into my gift. And I feel like I'm on track. Like I might not have the end goal picture of everything, but I'm learning now that like each assignment is different. Like I don't just have one assignment, you know, like I have different things that need to be done at different times. And like, you know, in this season, it might be this or that but i don't know i don't know what i'm saying but basically that was the sermon that's where i am um with praying and trying to understand my calling and everything so i just want to come on and share that i hope it made sense so yeah 
that's where I'm at. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Now I'm gonna send it back to like past me who's closing out the vlog and I'll see you guys next week, bye. So yeah, that is it. I know we didn't do much in this vlog. Oh, and then I also ordered some more of these Clorox for Grandzia vanilla scent beads because mine are like down in here. So I have to do a lot of laundry. I have to do a lot of resetting today. Gotta wash clothes, get bathrooms clean, and then make meals for today and tomorrow. So that is it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I think this week we're gonna go over like some fall fragrances, like affordable ones. And yeah, so we'll do that Thursday. I will see you guys then, bye.